In this video, we guys are gonna be talking about what is an Express Server and how we should be using Express Server under our entire REST client application. We are also gonna be using a tool known as Postman which shall be helping us in sending requests to our REST API. So with that said, hit that like button on this video, it shall only cost you 2 seconds of your life. Please hit that, it will be awesome. And let's get started. Alright, so in our previous tutorial, we implemented the following methods of our HTTP module, but we don't need this, so let's remove them off. And I will be opening my terminal and let's install Express under our entire project. So here you shall be writing npm install Express just like this. Cool, so Express is installed under our system. Let's clear it out. And as we are using TypeScript, we also need to install some basic types of Express. So for that purpose, you should be writing npm install dash dash save dash dev. And here you should be giving here annotation of types slash express just like this. Cool. So once everything is installed, let's get started. So for adding Express under our project, I should be writing here import Express from the module of Express. So for that purpose, you should be writing import express from express just like this. And once we have imported express, we should be using a constant called as app. We should be equal to a function of express itself. Now you can give it any sort of name, but the app here is known as, as industry standard name. And once if anyone reviews your code, he should be knowing that app is a common term known for express. So you should be using app for the method of express as well. Now here, let's create a new server with the help of express framework. So for that purpose, I should be writing app.get and under this get method, first of all, it will be requiring a path. So as in a term of default path, I will be giving here a path of slash, which will be our home. And after that, it should be requiring here a request and response just as we did under our HTTP server. So what we can really do with the help of express is import custom request and response from the express module so here import request and response just like this and once we have imported both of request and response here we shall be giving here an empty function having a parameter of request which should be equal to request that we have imported and also it should be requiring here a response so for this purpose let's add here a response just like this and once we have done this let's throw an arrow function and under this function, we should be calling out our server. So for calling out that server, I should be writing response dot send. I should be sending a new message to our rest server. So for that purpose, let's type here API is running under caps. And once the following thing is done, express server shall be automatically closed. You don't need to worry about closing it manually. And once we have implemented the following path for simply sending the data that API is running. I should be listening to my following server. So for that purpose, I will be writing app.listen. It should be taking a new port and you should be writing 8080 or any sort of port according to you. And after adding this port, it should be also requiring a new callback. So let's throw a new callback and under this I should be writing. And here I should be writing under quotes that server is rocking at 8080 format document once. And now let's test it out. So let's open our terminal and I should be writing npm run dev just like this. Cool. So our node one is started and let's check our console. Cool. So we are getting our message that server is rocking at 8080. So now let's test it out by opening our browser. So onto our browser, I can move into localhost of 8080. And here you should be seeing the message that API is running. Congratulations. Now this is a basic way of setting your server with the help of express. Now as compared to the boilerplate code of HTTP server that Node.js gives us, express is more minimal and more helpful for all the beginners. So now once we have learned how to set up a new server, let's start playing with it. I, what I will be doing is instead of sending data, first of all I will be sending a new status code to my server and the status code for the thing that everything is okay is 200. So you should be writing here a status code of 200 just like this. After adding a status code, I will be adding a JSON data under my server. So here I should be writing here a new message. So here I should be writing here a key of message 
and it will be requiring a value as the following thing is a JSON map. So here I should be writing API is running. Let's try it out. All right, a bigger G. Press Control and us. All right, our server is again working at 8080. Let's test it out. Cool. So if I reload my entire application once, we will be getting the following response of our entire server. That message of API is running just like this. So once we have done this, what we can also do is just like as we did under our HTTP server from Node.js. I will be creating a new constant value. So here let's have constant data should be equal to request dot URL just like this. And once we have done this, instead of printing our message, I will be printing my data. Press Ctrl and S. So now let's try it out. So if I reload my entire application once, here you can see we will be getting a path of slash cause we are not having any path but only our home page. And if I write here a new path, let's say dash of about, you can see we will be getting a new message that cannot get about cause the about path is not defined under our express server. So for doing that thing happen, what we can really do is copy this thing and paste it one more time. But instead of having our home page, I should be writing here a path of about, press Ctrl and S. And if I move into my browser one more time, you can see we'll be getting a message of dot slash about. And if I go back, I will be getting the message of our home page, which is slash. Now, you know what? You can define as many paths you want for having the get request, but we won't be doing it. The most awesome way for getting our paths is with the help of router, which is one of the base functionality under our express. So let's try that out. So here under my app dot get, what I will be doing is remove the following thing off from here. Everything shall be removed just like this. And what I will be doing and now what I will be doing is go under my source folder and under my source folder, I will be creating a new folder of routes. Under this, let's have a new file of routes.ts. Easy, it's easy. So under my routes, I will be simply importing express from the module of express. So here, let's have import express from express. And now what I will be doing is create a new constant variable called as router. And this should be equal to express dot router itself, just like this. And once we have imported the following router from the package of express, I can say here router dot get. And under this, first of all, we should be adding here a home page, just like this. And same what we can really do is import request and response from the express module. And here it should be having a new function. So let's paste on a request and response to be the types of our entire module. So here under the following thing, what I will be doing is simply send some data to our server. So for that purpose, I should be writing here response.json. Under JSON, I will be having a new message. And now let's create one more path. So I will be copying the following thing, paste it here. But here let's have a new page called as about. Cool. And here instead of having the message to be API is rocking, I will be having just like this, copy the following path one more time and guess what, this will be our last one. So here let's have a new path to our server to be profile and here let's copy profile and paste it here. What we can really do is export the following router under our app.ts. So for exporting data, I should be writing export router just like this. And now let's import router from our routers.ts file under our app.ts. So first of all, I should be removing the following thing off from this. So now what I will be doing is simply writing here app.use and under this, I will be giving here an empty path of slash. And after this, I should be importing router from my file. Now let's open our terminal if everything is going right. Cool. So our server is rocking at 8080. And now let's check our browser. So if I reload my entire application once, you will be seeing the message of API is rocking. If I go to our next path of about, I will be getting this is about page. And similarly, if I go under my profile, I will be getting the message of this is profile page, easy peasy. So in this way, you can define custom routes to your server so that we should be giving more precise and clear code. So the most important benefit of using routes under our Flutter application should be getting custom messages that is custom data from custom routes. So once we have learned what are routes, let's take a look over what are requests under our express server. 
So for playing with all the requests, you should be downloading a new tool known as Postman and I already have opened Postman under my system. So you should be going under Google and simply downloading Postman for your application. So once we have installed Postman, what we can really do is send some custom get, post, put, patch, delete and etc. all of the following methods to our server. So for playing with it, let's go onto our browser, copy the following path and let's go back. And here I should be pasting the following path here and under my body you should be sending any sort of body as you need. We will be taking a look over it in just a second. So now if I simply send my get request to the following path of localhost of profile. If I press send I will be getting the message under this JSON format that this is a profile page just like this. And if I say let me see what is for about page and if I simply press send. I will be getting the message that this is about page and if I simply press send over our home page we shall be getting a message of API is rocking. So now let's try sending a post request to our server. But before sending post request let's go back under our visual studio code and here let's have a new path for simply getting the post request and instead of get I will be writing here a method called as post. So under my post I will be simply calling my request. And the following request shall be the data that we should be sending from our postman. Let me open my postman once. The following data shall be nothing but all of the data that we should be sending from our postman console. So under this we should be sending any sort of data to our server. So for example I should be sending here name to be any sort of data let's say my name. Easy thing. Now in order to send the following data to our server first of all we need to convert this method under post. And also we need to define a path over post. Now if I try to write here the following path and if I press send I will be getting the message if I show here which is downside that cannot post the following profile. This means that we cannot post data to the following route which is defined here of profile. So let's make this thing into action. So for that purpose let's go here and what I will be doing is first of all let's have some constant data. The following constant data as usual should be request dot body just like this and now what I will be doing is first of all console dot log the following data and instead of sending API is rocking I should be sending data back to my server. Press control and S and now let's test it out. So our server is rocking at 880 let's go back under our postman. If I simply send the following data to my following path I will be getting here no field as we have expected but if I go back under my Visual Studio code I will be getting here a message of undefined that's because we need to add a URL encoder under our entire express server. So for adding the particular URL encoder you should be moving under app.ts and once we have declared the following app constant I should be writing here app.use and under use I should be writing express.url encoded. And under this I should be writing here a property of is extended to be false just like this. And once we have declared the following thing we should be also declaring a JSON format to our data. So for that purpose you should be writing express.json just like this. Now let the app reload one more time. Cool our server is rocking at 880. Let's go back and if I simply send this method one more time you should be getting here a message of undefined no worries. Now if I go back under my Visual Studio code I am getting here a message of null cause we haven't defined any particular argument under our data. So now what I will be doing is once we have been receiving some body from our postman I will be writing here a property known as name just like this and now let the server load one more time. So if I simply go back under my postman and send a property known as name to be Abhishek and if I press send. I am getting no data can you guess what is happening here. Let me tell you that the following property is undefined under text and we need to convert the following data under JSON just like this. Now these are some of the prerequisites that you need to perform in order to perform request over our express server. So if I simply press send from this side I will be getting the message of Abhishek and if I go back under my Visual Studio code. Cool so we are getting our data to be Abhishek just like this. 
and if I simply add here any sort of data which is not present that is we are not sending from our postman let me open it from here and if I try to send this data we can see we will be getting a null value because the property of email is not defined under our entire body through which we are sending our post request and if I go back under my this visual studio code I will be getting the message of undefined that we are not getting any data cause the property of email is undefined. Now to tackle up this thing what we can really do is add explicit properties under our constant. So here yeah, let's have email and also we should be having a name and also an email just like this and I should be removing my email from this side and also I should be having a property of constant and email. So what we can really do is console log our entire name and also I should be copying the following piece of line paste it here and I should be copying email as well and under this we should be sending here a JSON data of name and also email. So now let's go back under our postman and here I should be adding here a one mold field of email. So here let's have email and a mock email. Now you can see we are getting our message from our server of name and email. Now let's check out our Visual Studio code and here you can see we will be getting our name and email as well. So here you should be writing your property call as user. Let's try it out one more time. Now if I try to send the following data to my entire server, we will be getting the following message that the name user has the property of name and also email just like this. So these are some of the basics of how you should be using express server with postman. Now you might be wondering that there are many other requests that we should be sending to our server. But in order to having that request to be performed, we need to have some database in which we should be storing all of our data. But don't worry, in the next tutorial, we should be taking a look over what is MongoDB and we are going to use it under our application. So with that said, I hope you have loved the following tutorial and the usage of Express Server and also the following Postman under our entire application. So with that said, I will see you in the next one while adding MongoDB service under our application. So I will see you in the next one with another great video. Please hit that like button. It will be awesome. Goodbye.